The aura reconnaissance of the Satanas identified weak points in the Juggernaut's defenses. However, exploiting these weaknesses will require firepower that can be provided only by the main guns of our capital ships. The GVD Samtic, the GTD Aquitaine, and the GVD Toeris are standing by. Your mission is to lure the Satanas into position. In the first phase, you will attack the SC Rafaeum, a Rakshasa class warship. Our recon flights have located the Rafaeum near the Allied Secure Zone. The cruiser is accompanied by two wings comprised of Mara class fighters. Our analysis of the Rafaeum's flight pattern suggests the vessel is patrolling the region. Your first task is to eliminate the fighter escort. This must be achieved quickly before reinforcements arrive. Once the escort has been neutralized, call in Delta Wing. The bombers will help you destroy the Rafaeum. If necessary, your wing will need to incapacitate the cruiser's beam turrets to clear a path for your bombers. We anticipate the attack on the Rafaeum will bring Sheevan reinforcements. Your squadron is charged with the duty of engaging and destroying these hostiles until the Savannah arrives. Sigma Wing will also be available to assist once these bombers have returned from their current sortie. The upgraded target acquisition and guidance warhead is now available. The Tag B, an aspect-seeking missile, features an improved shock-resistant substrate that enables the beacon to transmit data with greater precision. The GVCV subpoena will provide fire support for this operation. The Alliance will execute simultaneous, coordinated strikes against Shivan positions in the nebula. For this reason, our destroyers will not be deployed unless the Sathanas appears in your field of engagement. If we fail to lure the Sathanas, or if the Juggernaut engages our forces elsewhere, we will abort this mission. Makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to do a heavy assault. That might be slower. It's a long time to stay alive.
No sign of the Satanus. We must keep up this offensive to lure the Shivan Juggernaut. Nag, nag, nag. At 0745 hours, reconnaissance of the Pisathanas juggernaut heading for the jump node to Terran Basudan's base. Because of the immediate risk to our own systems, command has aborted the plan to attack the juggernaut in the nebula. All Allied forces have been ordered to withdraw immediately to Gamma Draconis. Further orders will be issued upon our arrival. We have no conclusive data regarding the transmissions exchanged between the Asini and the Rafaim. This will, be the, this will be the last mission. The Shivan Juggernaut, Sepanus, is now en route to the jump node leading to Terran Basudan space. Command ordered all units to rally in Gamma Draconis in three hours time. Now we have accounted for most of our fleet. At least six warships have failed to reach the rendezvous point. We can wait for them no longer. The GTBA Security Council has authorized the immediate destruction of the Massos subspace portal. To demolish the Massos portal, we will detonate the Nissan bomb, an experimental new weapon under development at the Hideki Institute in the Vega system. Though its specifications are highly classified, physicists claim the Nissan bomb has more explosive power than any other warhead in our arsenal. Sufficient to destroy any small craft within a three kilometer radius. The size of the bomb prohibits tactical deployment. A small task force will oversee the demolition of the Nassos, while the bulk of the Allied fleet blockades the jump node leading to the densely populated propeller system. Command has begun the process of evacuating the 250 million civilians inhabiting Capella, the largest exodus since the Great War. The Colossus will remain in that system to engage the Satanus should we fail. Yeah. 250 million, that's like two thirds of the population of the USA. At 22.30 hours, the GTBA announced its plan for the destruction of the Gnosis device. For strategic and scientific reasons, we will not attack the portal with the main guns of our warships. The demolition of the subspace portal will be accomplished with the use of the experimental Nissan bomb. 
first objective will be to sanitize the area. Observers report that sheep and scouting wings have already entered Gamma Draconis, and enemy activity will intensify before the arrival of the Savannah's juggernaut. The Renamet, a Sobek class corvette, will monitor the operation and provide fire support. Once we have eliminated the enemy presence, a freighter carrying the Nissan warhead will deposit the bomb at the detonation site. This is the first deployment of the weapon prototype. Because computer simulations predict only a 40% chance of success, we have two more warheads standing by. before we sortie the freighter.
Lambda-1 has cleared the blast zone. Initiating detonation sequence. All units stand clear of the blast zone. Incoming hostiles. Twelve Dragon-class fighters have entered Gamma Draconis. Alpha, your vessel must be no less than 3,000 meters from the center of the portal. Acknowledged.
scientists have all the data we need to rebuild the portal in the future, Renan. It. We just stopped the second Shivan invasion of our home systems. You think? <laughs> Uh, I think that's impossible. It's right there. All units return to base. We're pulling you out. Get out of there, pilots. We demolished the portal, but to no avail. The subspace vortex generated by the Gnosis device is stabilized, and the Sathanas entered the Gamma Draconis system. Our forces are standing by to intercept the Juggernaut at the Capella Jump Node. We do not know how long the Nebula Jump Node will remain open. In theory, it could be centuries before it collapses again. Scientists have shown us that we have gathered sufficient data to reconstruct the Gnosis, but a project of that magnitude will take decades to complete. Okay, on that note, it's time to end the set. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good night. Next set, we'll be taking on the Stephanus, which will be good fun. Probably won't be as many missions, uh, because um, there's be high replay value on them. Otherwise, I would die a lot or fail a lot, so probably only a couple of missions.